we continue now with Delaware's GOP Senate nominee and the subject of all the Democrats' recent attacks. Christine O'Donnell is with us. Uh, Governor Sarah Palin tweeted, and I thought she gave you some interesting advice, and yeah. I want to get your take on it. Christine O'Donnell's strategy, time's limited. Use it to connect with local voters whom you'll be serving versus appeasing national media seeking your destruction. She's absolutely right. Governor Palin is right. That's a great piece of advice, and that's exactly what we're doing. I had some business in New York today, so thank you for having me on. But our focus is Delaware. I'm going immediately back to Delaware. We've got a packed schedule tomorrow and attending a ladies' luncheon. And uh, does, it, it. does that mean, for example, all the talk about you've got to do this national show, that national show, no, is that off the table for you? it's off the table because that's not going to help me get votes. Mm -hmm. I instead want to go to as many town hall forums, as many candidate forums, as many church picnics that I can fit into my schedule so that I can meet the voters. Delaware has a very unique opportunity that other Senate candidates don't have, where I can be in every county at least every week, but like tomorrow, every day. I'm mm -hmm. going to be in every county tomorrow. So you're, you're going to forget the, the, the taunting, if you will, of the right. national media. Let them say what they will. Okay. I, and yeah. you're going to, it seemed Rand Paul went through the same thing. He started yes. doing a lot of national media. Then he said, you know what, I'm sticking with Kentucky. So you're saying no to the national media. I'm now. not going to do any more national media because that this mm -hmm. is my focus. Delaware is my focus and the local media is my focus. Well, and it's, it's frustrating because I've let the local media know they're my priority, but our phones are ringing off the hook that they can't get to me. So this, mm -hmm. it's actually become an interference with the campaign. What about debates? Um, I know there was a candidate's forum last night. By the Tea That's Party right. movement, your opponent didn't show up. No, he didn't. Yeah. It's interesting because um, a, a liberal Democrat organization has a a debate two days after the primary and that's a, a long-standing tradition right and I went I went to that and he was there and he was the there bearded, and you call him the bearded <laughs> Marxist or is that the media saying he, that? that's the media saying it but if the media is gonna attack me for statements I made in my yeah. 20s then that's fair game he made some very anti-American statements apologizing for America and calling himself a bearded Marxist. And that's a shame because at that forum, he pledged before a liberal audience that he wasn't going to go mudslinging. He wasn't going to bring up what either candidate said in their 20s, and that's exactly what he's doing. And yet he's ducking the difficult forum. So he'll only go to the friendly forums, but he blew off the Tea Party forum last night. Yeah. So he knows that he has a record that he can't defend. A lot of the, the controversial, quote, your statements in the past, because you how many years were you a pundit? Because you were on Hannity and Combs for how many I, years? I mean, you were yeah. a, a fairly regular guest. They, they seem to evolve a little bit around your religious faith and religious right. issues. Um, contraception, condoms and AIDS, uh, gay pride, masturbation, all right. the, all right. the, which you've heard a lot about. Right. Well, do, you, do you think this is an attack on religion, your religious beliefs? What, do you th well, what they're trying to do is paint me as an extremist so that people won't pay attention to my message because again my opponent is all wrong on the issues that are important to the people of Delaware he has a history of raising taxes when on his former campaign trails he's said he wouldn't and then he does anyway he's been called Harry Reid's pet so he's gonna promote the big spending out of control agenda of Harry Reid and he's gonna support bills like cap and trade that are gonna continue to kill jobs mm -hmm. so they're trying to paint a picture of me and what those statements were about is in my 20s I had a newfound faith and going on these shows I looked at it as as a ministry opportunity that was what I did in my 20s but that was a long time ago. My faith has matured, and as a U.S. Senate candidate, my promise to the people of Delaware is that it is the Constitution by which I will determine how I vote on all legislation coming across yep. my desk. I have my personal beliefs, but our Constitution defends our right for the voters to disagree with me, and that's the right that I'm going to defend. How many debates, because uh, your opponent apparently is claiming that he offered to debate you a number of times. How many debates are you willing to do with him? Or uh, what, what, Well, what's, I'm willing what, to do as many as I can fit into my schedule. I'm not afraid of debating him. It's interesting, though, the letter that he sent over, he said, of the 15 debates that we've been invited to, here are the eight that I want to do, and they were all the forums that were friendly to him. <laughs> it wasn't the 912 Delaware Patriots. It wasn't the Tea Party. 
party. It wasn't the first date. It was mm -hmm. all the ones that he knew that he'd get the softball questions. And so uh, I challenge him to attend the 912 Patriots debate. You, a lot of people didn't expect that you would win this primary. Right. And I think there was a poll. How many points were you down like a week or two before? Oh, uh, I was at least maybe 11 to 15 points down. And, then and you won last by six. Week, I, yes. So a 17 yeah. to 20 point swing in, in a week and a half. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, you're down anywhere between 11 to 15 now. So right. you find yourself in a, in a similar predicament. Right. How do, you, how do you counter that, especially in light? And what's it like living under, you know, being the main focus of every news show? <laughs> Is it fun? Well, I'm sure things, you're enjoying it. It's not it. fun because, you know, like today there was a news crew filming my father raking leaves. I went to a forum you last night. you got to buy him a blower. I, mean, <laughs> it, it, I don't know. He likes that. It relieves stress, and he's under a lot of stress right, right now. But it's... it's it's interfering with my ability to campaign because even at that Democrat forum, we had a, an unprecedented turnout, and I am normally the last one to leave these events because I want to meet everyone that came there to meet me. And because of the frenzy that these things have become, it's interfering. So I've been talking to some of the people that have invited us, us to events, and we're asking them to not allow media to attend or at least to keep them in the back so that I can meet the voters without them getting pushed because that's that's the controversy of today as media were pushing some of the people who are trying to meet me but regarding the polls I'm not concerned about that because we're a week after the victory we still have at least 40 days ahead we're just getting our staff together and we've brought on some of the best and the brightest in the business and we've got a lot of a material to go on the offensive. Are you concerned about some uh, some well-known and uh, we talked about Karl Rove and, and his comments that were made the night that you won. Uh, are you concerned about some of those statements by some conservatives or Republicans that maybe not are not supporting you or do you look at that as a badge of honor? Well, I think maybe it's hard for them to see how this is possible, but again, I hope that they come around because I'd like to unite the party, but we're going to get out there. We've got a winning message. We are right on the issues, and just like in my primary debate, as my opponent kept attacking me, eventually the voters went, hey, wait a minute, what about her positions? And it began to backfire. I am fully confident that as I go up there and meet all the people that they will get sick of that too and they can go to my website at christine2010.com and learn more about what I want to do. All right, Christine O'Donnell, thank you for stopping by. We appreciate thank it. Thanks you. so much for being